Hey, what's going on? I'm sure some of you out there have probably seen this already. Well, I decided to do this video to show you how to do it. What you're looking at here is not one model. I didn't create this model. It's a collection of other models that were pieced together. In the last update of SFM, as of this recording, Valve added an option called Override Material. What that does is it gives you a little bit of control and a little bit of manipulation over models. For example, one of the things that allows you to do is actually make invisible pieces of models. So, for example, I have these two models here. If you go right click on a model, add override material, then show this model in the element viewer, click model, it adds this option to the bottom here. These are the materials for all the pieces that make up this model. So the options that it gives you is it allows you to add attributes. So for example, you have the hair here. Right click, go to add attribute. Select float, then type in dollar sign alpha. What alpha is, is it basically means the transparency, whether or not it's visible. So if you hit OK, that part of the model disappears. And if you want it to come back, you can either delete this or just put 1, and it'll come back. You can even make it partially visible. And how visible it is, is whatever options you put between 0 and 1. And you can do that for every, for pretty much every piece of the model, as long as it has a VMT. What a VMT is, think of these models as a collection of smaller models. This isn't just one model, it's a model for the body, a model for the wings, the hair, etc. And each of these pieces has its own texture. So if you actually go in and view it, here it's under user mod on mine. Go to materials, models. and find, I'll select Apple J. These are the materials for that model. And each one has, generally has two. A VTF, which this is the texture file. This is the picture that is painted over that part of the model. And the VMT is the instructions for that texture. And as long as it has a VMT, then you can manipulate it. So like, for example, the hair, this is, when you open it up in Notepad, this is what it looks like. These are all the instructions for that material. Basically tells it what to do, or tells SFM how to render it. And there are a lot more options that you can do. Like one example is if you wanted to change color. I mentioned in my previous tutorial that there were two ways to change the color. One is through the script and the other is through override material. So if you right click, 
select color and add dollar sign color to you see it's already changed it and it adds this box here which you can select a different color it generally only darkens it so you are limited in what you can do but it gives you more options and if you want to go back to default you can just delete it and you can do that for every every texture that a model has now sometimes you'll run into issues like with Applejack here where if you see on her on Rainbow Dash that she has all these options here even for stuff like the goggles that are currently hidden like that but with Applejack you go to add override material and show her in the element viewer you see she has less options but that doesn't mean that you can't still manipulate her the same way that you would Rainbow Dash or any other model and this will work for any any model that you pretty much any model that you have now for her for example you don't see any options for hair or tail here so for situations like that what you do is you go in here and you find find those pieces like here you have hair back lower upper hair front and all that so in this case you have to actually add it so you right click go to add elements DME material change the name and you have to name it exactly the way it's named here so for hair front for example you have to type in exactly hair front put the name in there and this is a glitch it's a regular thing if you come across it just uncheck it and go back and it'll fix it but what's listed here is like you can see here this is the material name this is the location and the name of the material so for her it would be models VNMLP Applejack hair front and like I said you have to type it in exactly otherwise this won't work so now this is linked into her hair into that texture so you can manipulate it just like the other one or assuming you type it in the right way Now there are limitations to this. When it removes a texture, it'll remove the entire texture. So you can't just pick a part. You can't say just to make the head invisible or a leg or whatever, because with the pony models, their bodies are all one piece. But that's the beauty of it where it can, the more complex the model is, the more options you have the other limitation that you have is like I said it has to have a VMT but in some circumstances it doesn't have a VMT a texture won't have it for example the pupils you see here there's VTFs for each pupil but these are linked in to the eyeball VMTs they don't have VMTs of their own and as of yet I have not found a way 
to manipulate those. You can remove the texture, but it just gives you the, the checkerboard pattern like you would normally see with a missing texture. So that means that you end up with situations like this. So yeah. So for every piece here, there's a set of eyes hidden underneath there. But if somebody's been manipulating or messing around with this and they figured out a way to do this, then please let me know. But right now, that's you may run into situations like this. Where you simply can't manipulate the piece. But it does give you more options and more things that you can do with it. And as I said, it will work with pretty much any model as long as it has a VMT. And you can do things like this where you can combine models together to create something new. And as you saw, that there's a lot of options in here. And as of now, we don't know what all this stuff does. So there's a lot of benefit. There's a lot of potential benefits down the road if we can figure out what more can be done. And like, for example you have a situation like where you add an element and you have all these other options in here even for stuff that's currently hidden or currently inaccessible And we just don't know what all this stuff does. <laughs> it's it's similar to situations like you run across with the, the particle editor. There's so many options and so many things hidden within SFM that we just don't know what all it's capable of. So there may be even more ways, and there probably is even more ways to manipulate these that we don't know yet. Like I was testing them out to try and figure out if you could actually change the texture. But I haven't been able to do that yet, at least from within here. But that's basically that's basically how you accomplish this. So feel free to test it out on whatever models that you have, see what you can come up with. And if you do find ways around the limitations that I mentioned, then feel free to let me know. And I hope this helped you out. And I hope you'd able to come up with something good with it. So, thank you for listening, and see you again later.